but today we should have a full full stream and hopefully we get three full ships in your stream streak is now at a nice amount what's your stream streak does it say i don't, I don't know if i saw what it was did i miss it uh i don't know i might have missed it but uh it is monday and of course as we all know monday means viewership day and today we have a ship from RPG Nerdos that we haven't got for a couple weeks or a week or so. And uh, oh, this looks quite interesting. Wow, that is a pretty ship. Ooh, that is pretty. Uh, this is called the Cooker Ship from RPG Nerdos. Or the Chef. Or the Baker Cruiser. <laughs> so many names. Oh my god, it's a food ship. We talk about food so much on this stream. Guess we gotta have a ship for it. Uh, it's a Kestro plus a Fed ship on top of it. Cool ship design. I like that purple color. Is that hot sauce? Is that a bow and arrow? <laughs> it's got a cookie laser too. Oh man, and a pizza launcher. Oh, this looks like this is going to be a ton of fun. Let's see what the Baker Cruise has going on. We do not know what the hell is this supposed to be, Captain. This vessel was donated to the Federation by an anonymous company. and comes armed with a pizza launcher and a number of condiments? Try to mix them. See what happens. <laughs> wow. What's that, Sonic? This is amazing. All right. So, Superior Navigation System. This is a uh, RPG Nerdos special augment. Gives us long-range scanners and advanced FTL navigation, too, which I think means we can jump to any beacon, uh, but it just costs more fuel. We have Explosive Replicator. Okay. What The big thing has got to be these crazy weapons. What do we got here? Jalapeno sauce. This sauce can do wonders with a pizza. Pretty mild, but still enough to deliver a little heat. Can be upgraded. Each hit of the sauce slightly increases the intensity of the fires in the room. Two power, five shots, zero damage, pierces all shields. 20% uh, fire chance as an affliction and a room effect chance. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to assume the affliction and room effect... Has something to do with the combination of the weapons. What kind of FTL fever dream is this? This is a ship from RPG Nerdos. So, all right. It says you can do wonders with pizza. What did, what does the pizza launcher do? This special bomb drops a pizza that deals minimal system damage, then remains to attack. Add the other condiments and be amazed. One power, ten second charge time. Requires a missile. Zero root normal damage. But it spawns a crew and it does system damage. Has a chance to not use a missile that's 80%. With the explosive replicator, I think that means it never costs a missile, I think. Has a 20% uh, percent accuracy modifier, too. Is it a hot sauce flak? I love the look of these <laughs> weapons. The pizza. Oh, man. What is this? Peppermint Launcher Mark One. Leaves of the peppermint within the tip of the arrows will surely cool the situation. Unleashing refreshing cold into the struck room. Combination with the pizza achieves an exquisite taste. Can be upgraded. <laughs> what? Two power, 10 second charge time, one shot, one damage. Pierces all shields, 30% breach chance, does ion damage, stuns. Does some sort of affliction in a room effect. Took you a while, you had to make 10 different weapon graphics. Well, I haven't seen anything in action Green, uh, RPG, but this is already amazing. I can't wait to see what all this does in combination. Cookie Launcher Mark 1. This cannon synthesizes cookies. Yes, they are edible until fired. Yes, they do have to spin as they are shot. No, Defense Drone Mark 1 cannot target them. Warning, mixing cookies with pizza may have rather violent consequences. Yeah, cookie and pizza sounds interesting. Although a cookie cake I'm down with. Two power, ten seconds, one shot. One shield pierce. All right, we have to combine all these things together. This is crazy. It looks like... Let's figure out the different combinations. Jalapeno plus pizza is supposed to be good. Pizza plus mint is supposed to be good. It looks like everything we want to combine with the pizza launcher. You get some crazy stuff happening. What's up, man, man? It's a cookie launcher. It's a pizza launcher. It's a peppermint launcher. And some jalapeno sauce to go on the top. I can't wait to see what this ship can do. Do we have Gibbs? Paul, our belly up? We have the best type of Gibbs. The disappearing into the ether Gibbs. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, make our weapons charge faster. Where is it? Uh, that's the Abyssal Lantern. 
Alright, uh, we can upgrade our weapons. Let's see how much they cost. Jalapeno sauce, add some chili pepper. <laughs> Three missiles and 35 scrap for that. Cookie launcher, prove the stability. Uh, three drone parts, 35 scrap. Uh, peppermint, add extra peppermint leads. Two missiles, one drone part, 35 scrap. So basically 35 scrap for all those upgrades. Okay. Um, all right, we got to try these different combos here. I want to try jalapeno sauce on my pizza first. All right, I cannot wait to see what this ship can do, what these different combos do. Uh, I don't want to go to a solo player though. We're playing Goreman today, yes. Uh, that is using up way too many consumables for power, no thanks. Uh, a flax sauce. I, delicious. Pizza first, then condiment. Is it have to be in that order? Oh, human time and rock. Okay, you want me to rename your crew? Okay. Agrima. And... Antonin, all right. Seems like a perfect ship for Baker Rand to join us. Mwah! Mwah! <laughs> uh, is there any specific uh, motivation behind this ship, RPG, or did you just have a, a food idea? Alright, what do we got? Alright. Alright, so pizza first. First, some delicious pizza. Ha 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 ha! Ah, the sound. <laughs> uh, I know it's just supposed to be like, you know, sauce, but it sounds like farting, so. <laughs> uh, all right, so pizza plus jalapeno sauce equals fires. <laughs> Why will this drone not go offline? Jesus. There. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a pizza that just hangs out in there. What does that pizza do? Okay. Uh, yeah, dying of fire. Alright. All right, good reward. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, the sound of the pizza. Okay. Uh... I will make my own pizza with hookers and blackjack, and apparently jalapenos. Um, they say don't grocery shop when hungry. I guess it's the effect when modding while hungry. <laughs> Trying to work out and lifting weights is really hard when you're laughing. <laughs> what the heck? How come it's frying so hard? Is that the sauce? <laughs> well, jalapeno and so jalapeno sauce and pizza. Apparently, make some uh, hot pizza. What about? Let's do mint and pizza next. It says something about being cold or something. So let's look at the description. Add other condiments, be amazed. Mine with the pizza cheese and exquisite taste. Uh, refreshing cold. I think it might freeze, stun, or some combination. Lockdown and stun or something, maybe. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> this is amazing. Man, now I'm hungry, man, man says. Uh, hashtag blame RPGs for being hungry. RPG knows. It's his, it's his fault. Uh, okay, half power. Extra nebula jump does give us an extra jump here. Alright, let's go ahead and get our early shields. Um, how many jumps do I get? I think I get nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Uh, the ship is an idea that you had in mind for months, but no motivation to get to it. Making so many weapons graphics was a little discouraging. Well, it's amazing. I I don't know the amount of work it, it, it takes to create weapons like this, so we need to really look at the animations. Oh, man, look at the bow. The bow, like, pulls back. That's great. And then the pizza appears. Ha, 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 ha. This is amazing, RPG Nerdos. This is really, really freaking cool. Uh, I'm going to be at half power here, so I'm going to have five. Three. Is it half 
to go in with like no engines or something here. Okay, can I go pizza and mint here? I have all my shields here, but let's see what this does. Pizza first, followed by mint. Okay, it stuns. It does stun. Oh, it ions and stuns and then locks down. And breaches. Oh, it's it slows down time. Oh, it's a. Oh, that's cool. It's a temporal manipulator and a lockdown and an ion. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Okay. Okay, didn't breach that time. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's okay. The something caused a breach there. I wonder if it's also, um... Venting the room. Okay, stun. This is so crazy. <laughs> oh, this is so cool, RPG. This is, this is freaking amazing is what this is. Okay, so... The jalapeno sauce one with pizza is pretty straightforward. It causes a lot of fires, which I like. And it has an amazing squirting, farting sound, which is great. Mint, stuns, ions, lockdowns, and breaches. That's pretty amazing. Cookie, it just said, what did it say? Mixing pizza and cookie is a violent consequence. I can't wait to see what violence entails. I cannot wait to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven should work, yeah. Uh, pizza exploding the breaches, so basically it can kill with breaches, can kill with fires, depends on what you mix with pizza. <laughs> this is such a cool idea. Uh, I do not know how you come out with this, but this is awesome RPG. I could train here, but meh. <laughs> The sound of the cookies. Alright, Pierce has one shield. He double dodged, though. Okay, what happens? Okay. I have a feeling that was, like, really high crew damage. I have a feeling that was crew damage. Can I control the cookies? No, I can't. Um... Imagine what would that pizza do to your innards. Now you might not be hungry anymore. Which <laughs> happens when I order Little Caesars, which is what I did over the weekend, which I probably shouldn't have. When you were a kid, you had a TMNT, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys that would launch plastic pizza discs. My friend had that, Taters. I remember that toy. Alright, we need to see what this one does when we actually have crew on the room. Because I have a feeling it's just a huge amount of crew damage. Send in my mantis for giant alien spiders. Alright, we can upgrade too, but I want to see... I want to see the cookie one in action before I upgrade anything. Ah, damn, it's the lead before they notice you annoying events. Pizza floating from cookies is good for dealing with auto ships. Extra hull and system damage comes in handy. Is it doing hull and system damage? I couldn't tell. Because their systems are too low level to probably see it. That does one system. That does normal system and hull. Okay, it does do one extra hull damage. So I assume it does extra hull and system damage. So it seems like pizza plus cookie kill ship. That's the that's the that's the cookie killing combo. Cookie killing combo. All right, interesting, interesting. So crew killing is either mint or jalapeno sauce. Chip killing is cookie and pizza. Um, I still kind of want to see this against a non-auto scout just to see it in action. 
spinning cookies of death, yes. Effects improve with upgraded weapons, okay. Hacking. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the... Can I internalize any of these guys? I don't think I can. So I'm gonna get rid of the Abyssal Lantern. I don't like being full on augments. I don't like being too full on augments. All right, uh, do we have room for the max OP systems? We do. Go so hacking. All right, I can't afford an upgrade now, but we don't really need an upgrade now. Oh gosh, there's double store. When cookie time is all the time, GG boys and girls, that's right. Do I want to rob this store? BJA, thank you for the five bits. I kind of want to rob this store. We never do it. We're going to go for it. Okay, all right. This seems like a room uh, a ship to set a lot of fires in. So, his weapons are pretty good, so we're going to hack his weapons and then set his weapons on fire. That's the goal here. Does this one pierce all shields? Yes, the cookie one does not pierce all shields. That's why I'm not using the cookie one. Uh, oh, he has an artillery. Okay. Did not notice the artillery. I thought this was part of the weapons, and I was wrong. <laughs> okay. I'm actually unsure what the artillery is going to do. I'm going to guess it's like a three-shot laser. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why does it sound like farting, though? Okay, come on. I want to get fire in the... There we go. Artillery offline. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I love the... I love the sauce sound RPG. That's so good. It's so ridiculous and so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, man. Alright, so when it explodes, it causes extra fires. Is that what it does? Yeah. Alright. Alright, sorry about that Federation store, but you know. I was hungry, so. I wanted spicy jalapeno pizza. Sounds delicious, right, chant? We're gonna feed them so hard. I know, right? There we go. We all, I also did that because I'd never do the rob the store, and I feel like sometimes people on YouTube are like, what does robbing the store do? Well, there you go. It's just a ship fight. A very difficult ship fight, because the stores are usually strong for their system they're in. All right, free stuff to sell. That's good. Zoltan or Rock? I don't think I have protection from Rock Live Mine. But I also don't want to deal with Zoltan Porter Police. Uh, rock Alive Mine or Zoltan Porter Police. Just hope we don't get Rock Alive Mine. I have long range scanners, so hopefully we can avoid it. A difficult ship, uh, oh, the store is a difficult ship fight with high rewards, is what robbing stores is, with some rewards for crew kills, like guaranteed weapon for crew killing a Federation store. Cool. Pineapple and jalapenos are awesome on pizza with ham. Um, I don't agree, but that does sound like what, what's it called, um, Hawaiian pizza is or whatever. Alright, let's do, uh, let's do an upgrade. Which one do I like, m which one do we like most? Honestly, the, um, the mint was pretty awesome. Fires is cool, but the breach and ion and stuff, I really like the mint. Uh, mint costs one drone port, two missiles. I think I might actually go with the mint launcher. Upgrade first. Does it require more power? It doesn't. It's a little bit longer charge time. What's better about it? The higher breach chance? Uh, it's two ion damage. Okay. 
think I should add chili pepper to the sauce. We'll do that next. I want to do this one first. The mint two. I love this animation, by the way. I didn't look at the cookie animation. Let's look at the cookie animation. <laughs> the cookie dough is filling the tube. <laughs> uh, I love that. Cookie dough is filling the tube, and then it shoots two spinning cookies. What's the jalapeno sauce one? That one looks like no crazy special animation. Just gotta charge up, I guess. The sound is what's amazing on the jalapeno sauce. <laughs> Uh, the slow effect of the mint arrow is stronger as well. The slowing is stronger, okay. That's how you distinguish a gamer man from an ordinary one. He laughs at farting noises in games regardless of his age. I mean, who wouldn't laugh at farting sounds in a video game? Every kid laughs at farting sounds, and if you play video games, you're still just a kid. I mean, if you play video games for a living, I think we can all agree I'm basically a kid. And if you hang out on Twitch enough, you're probably also a kid. All right, well, we're gonna O2 crew kill these rock dudes. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's what you said. So we agree, we're all children who laugh at farting noises. Interesting. So I didn't shoot the mint at the pizza. Wow, so it's really slowed down time in the room that we touched. Alright, so the mint, the cold means slows it down in ions. That's cool. That's really cool. This is such a cool ship. This is one of my favorites you've done in a while, RPG. I know it was a lot of work, but it is, it's amazing. This is really cool. The combination of two different weapons causing different effects is... I don't know if I've seen that on a ship before. I don't I don't remember that being a thing before. I wonder if we can shoot two different things that Can we put two different toppings on the same pizza? Oh my gosh, we have to try it. We have to try that. Set it on fire and um Freeze it and lock it down and breach it. You're glad I'm enjoying it? The effects only get more awesome as you upgrade some condiments no longer relying on just pizza to be effective. Not sure if it works to combo them since each condiment gives pizza an ability. Well, we'll, we'll have to test it. <laughs> I am happy to test it. Throw the pizza in after I mint it down. Get all minty. Is the pizza attacking that guy? Killer pizza. There's lasers happening, but it's... Oh, it is going. Its health is going down. Killed by pizza. <laughs> Death by pizza. What a way to go. Pizzas can do NG damage to enemies. Oh, so it, it attacks or does damage at the speed of an NG. Interesting. Speed of an NG. Asteroid and solar flare. Okay. You wouldn't mind dying that way to pizza? I mean, if you gotta go, what a way to go. Although sometimes the way I feel after I eat pizza makes me think, I might die to this. I might just die to this. Huh, how did we ion his shields? Did the mint... The mint did ion damage as it pierced the shields. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it didn't pass through the shields that time, so it didn't ion it. Okay. That's something that's a, a unique to shield piercing ion weapons that we don't see a lot because it's not in vanilla, of course. 
No oh, man, this is a cool way to crew kill. <laughs> cool way to crew kill. Cool. Pun intended, because mint. You know what this reminds me of? A mint weapon and a jalapeno sauce weapon. This reminds me of Grounded. Grounded, you add mint and spicy candy and stuff, and it gives your weapons these type of abilities. Were you... Was it kind of a grounded idea that gave you this idea? Exploding pizza from mint does one extra ion damage, from what you recall. You imagine they're not actually stunned, they're getting stuffed with pizza, unable to move. Okay. Um, what's up, Turbo Jet? How are you doing? Let's try to vent them both. We're gonna have to wait through solar flares here. Okay, not ideal. I might kill his shit before we kill his crew this time. Oh well, okay, we might get the crew kill. Nice. Time to heal in between, maybe? A little bit of time. Alright. Um... Uh... Lol at the rock speed in that room. What kind of time slowdown is that? It's a very strong time slowdown. All right, I think I want to get. Oh, look at this! The Brim Flame Sorcerer. We have enough craziness going on. These guys are cool. These are the ones that summon the fireballs that then you can teleport over to enemy ships and stuff. I'm gonna get backup battery. Because what I really want to do is actually upgrade my weapons at double, double toppings on my pizza. I'm gonna do one and an upgrade. A power upgrade first. Seven, six, five, four. Okay. You're doing great, Turbo Jet? I'm glad to hear it. The amount of time it takes that rock to move one tile is more than crossing the entire fed ship from front to back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cloaking and two shields on this guy. He would be super OP if we weren't doing stupid stuff here. Um, let's make sure his, first of all, weapons are, um, yeah, weapons down first, because double eye on. Okay. Stun him in there. There we go. Breach the clone beta cl uh, cloaking to start. Let me do the same the weapons. Have a double double pizza pizza meal meal deal deal. <laughs> Get locked down, sir. Uh, this is fun. This is really fun RPG. It's goofy and amazing and fun, and I love it. Beautiful. Um, you're sure that you're probably going to be hurt by some of the decisions you made and made, made and make throughout the run. You're going to be hurt. Why are, why are you going to be hurt, Turbo Jet? Alright, so if I want to do this. Alright, so I want to see what happens when I throw pizza sauce on top of my minty pizza. I mean jalapeno sauce on top of my minty pizza. Let's see if anything happens. It's nice to see Rand having so much fun. I'm enjoying it, that's for sure. Uh, intruders on board. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and vent these guys. Okay. Alright, pizza in here. Mint and jalapeno at the same time. See what happens. <laughs> it goes... It was on fire. Okay, it almost looks like it does whatever the last one did. Because it didn't start the breach. So if I do jalapeno sauce first, 
And then the mint. Let's see what happens. They're breached. And that's okay, so interesting. So it looks like, from my little bit of experimenting, if we have a pizza and we throw in two condiments, whichever condiment you throw in last is the one that activates. So we can get the fires if you throw the jalapeno sauce in first, and then the mint will cause the breach breaching things to happen. Cool. Experimenting with pizza toppings. Something I never thought I'd get to do in FTL. Uh, the weapons you sell, the suboptimal play styles that you don't do. Oh, are you saying because I'm having fun and not just getting <laughs> vanilla weapons is going to hurt you? Well, sorry, it's viewership day. Prepare to be hurt. Right, let's get ourselves a silly device. Prepare to be hurt. All right, and you know, I'm going to do my own naming for us. We're going to do silly device, of course. I feel like with a ship like this, we need a human named Baker Rand. Baker Rand, make us a beautiful, delicious cake. Um, can I skip the store? If I go one, two, three, four, five, I can. Okay, good, because I want to get one power. Makes going to the store not that worth it. What if we do mint plus cookie? Cookie mint pizza. RPG, we need to make farting noises into a separate mod for Rand streaking. It helps to keep his spirits up. <laughs> Alright, asteroid field. What's up, Gunther? How was my weekend? Did I get a chance to look at the Alpha Centauri intro? I did. I did. My weekend was good. I played a lot of Last Epoch. And... Um... The video I watched that you accidentally linked six times was kind of crazy to watch because it was in like 240p or something like that. But I did watch it. It's been a while since I've watched a video in that low um, what's the word? Fidelity. Uh, I think he's going to die from asteroids. How did, how did his shields go down? We must have ioned the shields with mint and then the asteroids just keep hitting him in the fields. Oh well. Get some weapon training, I guess. Uh, yeah, resolution, that's the word. I think they have some higher resolution ones. Well, it, it, was, it was cool. I mean... What was it? Alpha Centauri? It looked like an old school gaming intro. It was pretty cool. It was just the resolution was so low. I... It was interesting to see that low resolution on my, you know, 1080p screen. So it just looked a little blurry, but it was cool. It was cool. Honestly, the voice actor who did the voiceover of that Alpha Centauri, Centauri intro Reminded me of the voice actor who does the intros for WoW Classic. The Night Elf City of Darnassus. He sounded like that same guy. I'm wondering if it was that same, that same voice actor, maybe. The reclusive Night Elves. Sounded like that same guy. Hey, okay, nice, nice free stuff. Uh, how was Last Epoch? You are debating grabbing it on Steam soon. If you get Last Epoch, play it in offline mode right now uh, because I really wanted to play online mode because they had a trading thing that they added and I want to be able to see other players in the game but their servers they apparently are having over 200,000 peak players at the same time which is apparently way above their expectations so their servers uh, there's kind of a big um, on Steam's reviews, they've got a little review bombed for negative reviews for Last Epoch because their servers are kind of getting overwhelmed. So play it on offline mode. The good thing is there is offline mode to play. The bad news is if you want to play online mode, loading screens take forever right now. So 
Alright, let's get that mind control. I have almost all of our systems done. But I've been enjoying it very much. Uh, the updates, I mean, I've played it a ton before it came out, so... I basically, I know the game, but the, the stuff they added, the uh, graphic updates, the um, the new builds you can do, it's, it's great. I've always enjoyed... Um, last epoch so it's just it's it's very enjoyable um i will say the people who are whining about the servers are justified in their whining it's pretty bad the servers are kind of kind of messed up but if you play offline mode it's super fine which is probably what most streamers have been doing honestly they've probably just been playing offline mode Maybe he's in that same situation of being underpaid and overstressed as WoW's voice actors. They should unionize. <laughs> okay. I do need some power. Um, UI of Last Epoch is something to be envied by most RPGs. ARPGs, huh? Uh, the rest of the videos are what you see once you complete a secret project. Some of them are pretty deep. Is that the... Uh... You must be talking about that game um Alpha Centauri, huh the ui of uh, let's see i saw that just kind of holding out until they get better bandwidth you don't get upset when there are network issues at launch after taking time off or the d3 launch and battlenet died yeah that's what one of the reviews i read talked about is like compared to d3 diablo 3's launch this is not that bad it's understandable people buying the game being upset by it but i will say the uh, review bombing on Steam is probably a little overboard because, I mean, what game hasn't had a terrible launch uh, as their first launch ever? I feel like one thing that some people aren't taking into consideration is the fact that this, the uh, developers who made Last Epoch, I watched a YouTube video about their um, story. They're basically people who met on Reddit and decided to make a video game. A guy had an idea to make an ARPG inspired by old school Diablo 2. So he found a bunch of people on Reddit to try to make a, a game together. And that's kind of the history of how this dev team came together. So having network issues on launch, I, I am not too upset about. Um... You've enjoyed the crap out of... Oh, of Last Epoch, the tooltips, the inventory management, brilliant. To me, one of the best things about Last Epoch is actually the... Um... The build diversity. I really like all the different choices you can make with builds. Okay, apparently this guy has level 302, because this we cannot... We cannot get his O2 down, apparently. So I've been enjoying it. I created a falconer. And on the live uh, server. And got it to like mid 50s. And then the, the load time just got too much for me. So I'm putting that on hold until their servers are better. And I'm playing a uh, Shaman, lightning, caster, melee dude on uh, the offline right now is what I'm doing next. Do I want to go to the store? Do I have anything to sell? We kind of just want cloaking. I guess I should buy fuel. Uh, hearing that makes you want the game more. Uh, Last Epoch? I mean, I think it's the best. Apart from... Um, Path of Exile, I think it's the best ARPG on the market right now. Until PoE 2 comes out, it's probably the only action RPG that I would be interested in spending time in. And I will probably be spending time with it off and on in the coming months. It's just, I just... I mean, I've played it a ton before it came out. I was already into the game. So the full release just it has more stuff to do, so... Build diversity is nice as well. You don't delve too deep into it yet. Not as BS complex and diverse as PoE, of course. 
It's good. Diablo can't hold a candle to it. It's not as hard for new peeps to dive in as Path of Exile. Exactly. To me, the balance of complexity to ease of entry is just about right. Um, as much as I think Path of Exile is probably the best um, action RPG on the market, its complexity is a barrier for a lot of people. So, I'm uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping Path of Exile Two has a similar um, balance of complexity to, you know, ease ease of entry or barrier to entry is probably the word I'm trying to think of. What defines an action RPG? Um, top down isometric. Loot based click to move uh leveling game is probably maybe maybe loot based. I think I think loot based is a word that the uh, devs used for last epoch. Because you could probably call other games action RPGs that are slightly different, but in today's gaming world most people Called Diablo 2 style games, ARPGs. That's kind of the the label placed on them, I would say. If you do love the graphics as well, the physics hell. It even has limited ragdolls. Yeah, one of the interesting thing that was new to me is um, the player characters. When you run around, their heads swivel. They're like looking at enemies. I was like, when did they add that? I think that's new to the new to the um, to the release version of it. The heads of your characters are kind of swivel swiveling around. Um, uh, I'll see you on YouTube. All right, Turbojet. I'll see you later, my friend. Yeah, loot with skill-based progression. Is a roguelike? I, I would, honestly, action RPG, I wouldn't really call roguelike. Some of the map generation sometimes could be considered roguelike, but like, one thing about Last Epoch that some people might not enjoy is the story, the campaign, um, Maps are always the same, I think. So if you've played it through once, then the campaign maps are the same every time, as far as I know. You know what I haven't tried? I haven't tried cookie plus jalapeno sauce. Sounds like something horrible in real life. Um, but it is kind of like roguelike map generation, I think, once you get into their late game monolith system, I believe. Okay, well, we don't want jalapeno sauce. On an asteroid. I'm saying some weird things. On an auto assault ship. No jalapeno sauce on an auto assault ship. Yeah, I wouldn't call action RPG the same genre as a roguelike. There are some overlapping elements. Like in most games, uh, games of different genres, there's some overlap, but I, I wouldn't say roguelikes and a ARPGs have a lot of overlap, to be honest. And most roguelikes progression is done via having skill item character unlocks through completing a run successfully. Maybe you'll watch later on this stream, but for now you'll lurk. Alright, well enjoy your lurking. Hey, we got a map. Uh, there's our stores. Interesting, alright. Half power. Let's get one extra power. In the RPGs you progress by questing, gaining XP, and picking items up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna manly search. Nice. Sadly, I don't think firebomb is gonna get a lot of use here. Because we have jalapeno sauce. 
All right, two more nebula jumps. I only need one more. I would like to get cloaking if possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, okay, we'll go up that way so we can check for cloaking at the stores. I'd ask you to change what topping that was used, but you can't play it anyways, so, okay. Uh, you can play this mod. You just, you have to figure out the modding, uh, the uh, Slipstream Mod Manager stuff. Uh, RPG, at some point, what I might want to do is put your, your version of Hyperspace together in a folder so I can put that together on the box.com so we have RPG Nerdos Hyperspace. Because if people do want to play your ships that I play on stream, we probably need to make sure that they have your version of Hyperspace. I probably want to do that eventually. Oh, that's a big giant missile. All right, I do want Mint. I bet you Mint gets through Zoltan Shields quicker because of Ion. <laughs> Alright, we need to get through quickly. Um uh, gonna hack his weapons for the missile fires. Okay. This might actually stop him from getting a missile offline would be great. <laughs> Jesus, that sound. <laughs> Oh, it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous and funny. Yeah. Alright, uh, well, I guess if I want to kill the rock crew, I need to breach. We are definitely overgrown kids. Yes, yes we are. Do, 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 do. This guy's frozen in time. He's halfway out the door and he can't finish his way out the door. Weapon animations weren't the only ones made. The red animation and blue animation that appears over effective rooms also you work. Oh, those little, uh, yeah, looks like healing things but with different colors. Okay, so that's cool. I assume that's telling me what affliction is in the room. I was noticing that, and I wasn't quite sure what that was. Went out on the, sh the ship visuals-wise. You did an amazing job. I really am impressed by your, your work on this pie, uh, pie boy. <laughs> RPG Nerdos. Keep saying wrong people's names today. It's basically what effect is happening in that room. That's cool. All right, so what we're hoping for is cloaking. Beautiful. All right, our systems are done. We just want to upgrade all our cool weapons. Frozen in time, getting killed by a pizza. What a way to go. <laughs> all right, I would uh, rob the store, but... Three shields, his weapons look good. Enhanced Vulcan, or Eagle Vulcan. There. Uh... I, I would upgrade my hacking before I'm fighting ships quite that strong. This is only the end of Sector 3, by the way. Very cool ship RPG. One day Eagle's Eye will grow up and be able to make ships like this. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's, it's, it's kind of... I think one of the most underrated things about what RPG Nerdos does is the amount of time he puts into these. Because these are... This is not easy. Not easy. The ship is amazing, but you need to take a nap before rehearsal. Okay. Well, have a good nap. Can't deny it. I hope rehearsal goes well. Or what did you say it was? It was SpongeBob? SpongeBob the musical, I think you said you are doing? Why is there an ASB here? Confused. Confused. <laughs> You got Larry the Lobster and four ensemble parts. Cool. Larry the Lobster. 
I don't know the show at all, so. Fuck you, you cheating ass game. Well. Alright, uh, I should probably... Uh, I was gonna say not try to crew kill this, but... I didn't hear the sound for the ASB that is almost ready to go. Okay, this crew's gonna die soon, though. There's the sound. Okay, crew dead. Let's get out of here. Huh, I wonder why there was an ASV. That must be a well-guarded rock sector event, that RPG added or something. Well-guarded rock sector has an entry delay, rebel fleet by one, but has a fight with an ASV for it. Okay. Cloaking it should be easier. Yeah, I should have cloaked. I just I didn't hear the, the, the notification sound for whatever reason. Pizza, the jalapeno sauce, and mint. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous that sound. It's so ridiculous. Jalapeno sauce and mint. There we go. Don't resist my jalapeno sauce and mint pizza. <laughs> By the way, these are all things I would never put on my pizza. Mint on pizza? Ooh. Now, a cookie pizza, if it's more those cookie cakes, I could see. Or cookie pie or something. I don't think I can approve of cookie pizza. Unless it's just a complete dessert pizza and no, like, cheese or sauce on it. That would be weird. Alright, so I want to get hacking level 2, power, and dodge next. I've been living at ASBs, asteroid fields, and solar flares for the last, like, six jumps, though, so... I feel like I haven't even had the opportunity to upgrade. Okay, let's keep going to Asteroid Fields. I guess I'll never upgrade my ship. Okay. We're gonna hack here. I'm even gonna mind control. I'm gonna do Masala Maneuver for this craziness. Freaking non-stop. <laughs> uh, hazard beacons. But we can basically disable their ship every time, so it's fine. What's up, Spectre? Good luck with this build. I don't need luck. Well, we're going. We don't need roads. Okay, I'm gonna let them in here. And then we're gonna slow them down in this breached room. <laughs> uh, you can do so much crew manipulation with this build. It's crazy. I'm interested to see how we're gonna get the boss crew kill with these crazy weapons. We still have more upgrades to do as well. On the weapons. Alright, finally I can go do some upgrades here. Not stuck on an asteroid field or an ASB or whatever. Okay. Uh, perfectly not hack his weapons. Oh, this. Doge? Now you need to be a good doge. <laughs> you need to stop being a bad doge. <laughs> uh, great, it's great. Oh! Okay, that spicy thing just did a big amount of crew damage, I think. Oh man, I was saying how good the mint was, but the exploding jalapeno sauce pizza. That just just did flat crew damage there, I think. Jalapeno sauce pizza does crew damage on explosion. Okay, okay. 
Uh, I've been having too much fun with the minty lockdown breach one. I didn't realize it just did flat hole damage there. Okay. Do that. Or flat crew damage. All right. Um, I want to upgrade. Let's, up, up, let's, let's add some chili powder to... <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Let's add some chili powder to the hot sauce. What could be better than chili powder in a hot sauce? Chili pepper. <laughs> oh, this is so goofy and I love it. Is it bigger? I think it's bigger, isn't it? I can't tell. I see RP. Is that is that your signature on the chili sauce weapon? RP for RPG. This is a this is an amazing ship RPG. This is this is my favorite in a long time. The description on chili sauce is different. Oh, okay. I need to I need to read that then. Can I get them all in the same room. First, we lock it down. It's done, and then we chili sauce it. <laughs> Every time that sound happens. Every time, man. Okay, these guys don't get stuck in a fire, so I'm gonna lock them in the room. Every time. The... <laughs> Where did you get that chili? That that's the <laughs> the sound. I need to know where you got that, because that's hilarious. Uh, is that mint bow taken from grounded? That's what I asked earlier. I feel like it's got a little bit of a grounded um, inspiration going on. That spicy thing did a large amount of damage. My day, me a day after eating Thai food, yes. <laughs> Uh, set lasers to yum! <laughs> well said, Cosmic Power. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I just look at the description of the new chili sauce. Much more intense, only for the connoisseurs of spicy. Makes fires unbearable, I found, but is absolutely tasty. Can be upgraded. Each heat of the sauce moderately increases the intensity of the fires in the room. And the mint too. Extra peppermint leaf added to the tip strengthens the effects. Can be upgraded. I mean, as much as I like cookies, I'm enjoying the mint and the chili sauce too much for the crew killing. Uh, how much does it cost for the next upgrades? 55. Okay, it's getting pretty expensive. I, I, I'm, I might have to not do cookie launcher upgrade this run. And RPG, you might have to remind me I need to come back and play this one again to do like a cookie launcher upgraded build. I just, I, we might, but I don't know that we're going to get enough scrap to get all the upgrades. Can we upgrade the pizza launcher? No. This is cool. One of the other reasons I like this is I like the whole, I am a fan of mechanics in video games where you set up with one thing and then proc it with another. And this pizza launcher setting up that we proc it with the topping is like some of my favorite game design in games like, you know, in Baldur's Gate, when you throw uh, a grease bottle and then you set it on fire. Or in action RPGs where you uh, have a damage over time thing that you curse them and then it enhances the damage over time. Like, I, th I think that's one of the coolest thing in video games is these combo effects. I think it's super cool. And this is one of the first times we've seen it Really done to such a level in FTL and RPG. I'm I'm digging it. I am digging it. I'm just gushing about how cool this build is. Uh, it'll be ironic if this run ends to that same sound as the final note in the flagship's rhapsody. Yes. How did you get stunned? Oh, so apparently when the Mint 2 goes through the shields, not only does it eye on the shields, it stuns the shields, too, interestingly enough. Okay. <laughs> Every time. Every freaking time. And RPG is a mad genius of FTL modding. He really is. He really is. It's amazing, too. 
Um, lock him in there. That should finish him off. Prime and detonate elemental shaman for the win. Flame shock lava burst, baby. Huh, I never did that combo. Um, the, uh, the MMO that I talk about all the time is supposed to have some sort of combo like that. Ashes of Creation, they have, like, you can slow enemies, and then if a, another character does an ability that synergizes with that ability, that slow becomes a stun. So, like, that just, I, I love that mechanic in video games. I think it's just so interesting and fun and gives the player agency to... make cool choices with their plays. I just, I think that's such a cool mechanic. Damn. That's the sound I make when uh, he dodges my bomb. Right, get you guys mind controlled in there. Pizza. Chili sauce. The side of mint. let him in there. He didn't go in there for some reason. Uh, now you should go in there. Oh, he's too low. Next RPG mod. Farting bombs on misses. <laughs> Jeez. Ship is amazing. The next stops. The next sauce upgrade was black. Oh, Carolina Reaper sauce. <laughs> All right, we're gonna read that once we get it. We're definitely doing that eventually. I guess I could do it right now. Let's do it right now. Carolina Reaper. I love the name. Carolina Reaper sauce. Two power. 12 second charge time, shot radius of 42, 9 shots per charge. Unbearable heat brings the pits of hell straight to your mouth. Beware and absolutely do not touch with bare hands. Each hit of the saw severely increases the intensity of fires in the room. Wow, alright, we got some Carolina Reaper to throw in here. <laughs> this is great. Get ass blasted, spicy style, that's right, that's the... Let's see, I don't know, though. The, um... I can't think of words. Uh, the slogan, that's the ship's slogan. Oh my god, it's just exploding over and over! <laughs> Wait a second, hold on a second. It's done. Oh, I did the mint after the Carolina Reaper. Okay. So it just starts exploding over and over in the room. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Does intensity of fires means they do damage? I don't I don't know what intensity of fires means. I think maybe it means It's a description of the exploding over and over or something, but I'm not sure. That's a special effect on pizza when hit with a tier 3 sauce. Intensity of fires means more damage and fires are harder to put out in the room. Oh! Oh, so it's different. So intensity of fires means the fires do damage quicker, I guess. Almost like there's more fires in the room. And they're harder to put out. And I guess the multiple explosions is the bonus room effect or chance or something. This is crazy RPG. I am just... This is... This is some of the coolest interactions of viewership stuff that I've seen, like, ever. It's, like, really, really freaking cool. Eye on it first. 
then we're gonna start some explosion. Each explosion does 15 damage to their crew health. That's freaking cool, man. That is freaking cool is what that is. Yes, RPG absolutely outdid himself with this one. That's for sure. Okay, so first we stun, then we explode. Looks like it explodes until the... No, no, I was going to say until the cookie's dead, but it keeps going after the cookie's gone. This is what happens to your insides when you eat a Carolina Reaper pepper or something. Instead of dealing 30 crew damage with one explosion like in previous tiers, the pizza explodes 6 to 7 times for 15 crew damage each. It basically explodes until it dies. Okay. <laughs> Which is what I feel like when eating certain foods. And then have to go to the bathroom afterwards. I explode until I die in there. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. Need to see what the fully upgraded mint was mint one does too. Huh. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice that missile. Stun. Explosions. All of the explosions. Man, I love cookies, but in the world of RPG Nerdo's cool weapon mods, I gotta go with the mint bow and arrow with the hot sauce on top of the pizza combo. I think that's, uh, that's my go-to here on this one. As a spicy food lover, it concerns you that you feel like you would eat this Carolina Reaper. You'd probably fly to space without any fuel, but would still try. <laughs> and you'd make a lot of... <laughs> Sounds while flying, too, I'm guessing. That would be the only sound you would be making, probably. You'd be crying as well. <laughs> Why did I do this? Why? Not like this. Not like this. Who is that? Switch or Cypher or whoever says that in OG uh, Matrix? Not like this. Not like this. Alright, Store, what you got? Anything I care about? What would I care about on this ship, honestly? Um. I feel like maybe replace the cookie launcher with something. I guess we keep this because the extra hole damage would be useful after we do the crew killing phase one of the boss fight. So maybe an automated reloader or pre igniter. That's what we want. We want a pre igniter. Let's make sure we have enough scrap of pre igniter at every store for the rest of this run. Okay. Wow, these guys. Every ship has had missiles. If I weren't so overpowered, I'd be frustrated about that. Yes, we want instant pizza delivery. That's right. <laughs> oh, wow. Get deleted, humans. Deleted from the inside out. Upgrading cookie launcher at some point is probably going to be worth it for more damage. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I do the mint upgrade first, but I wanna, like I said, I wanna always have enough for pre-igniter. You know what? Let's dive. Chance for pre-igniter dive. Yeah, not like the pizza would ever get cold with this kind of sauce. Oh no! Uh, my greed got me uh, rock live mine. Hey, okay, okay. Did you take out the red and blue 50-50 on that one, RPG, or did I just get lucky? Because, uh... That was Rock Live Mine, and I didn't have to choose between red and blue. 
No, I didn't mean rob. Okay, okay. It actually says you shouldn't do that. <laughs> um. Okay, no. Big matter, sadly. Okay, well, if we are diving. Can't rob Rockman stores. They're too well guarded. Yeah, that was, uh. It's interesting that you gave the choice, but then it was a loser of choice because they said, no, you can't do that. Never not laugh at that sound. Cloak. There it is. Go in there and get exploded, dudes. There we go. Crew killing dive ships. You know your OP win. Crew killing dive ships. We're leaving all these cookies behind, too. Abandoned Sector 5. I can't make them... Well, I guess the cookie will still explode. It just wouldn't be useful fires. But we want pre-igniters. Let's go to NG Homeworlds for more stores. Uh, for Rockman store robbing, you'd also have an option asking if you are sure of it, if you could. Rocks don't fear jalapeno sauce. You kind of envy them. Let's go feed some NGs. Okay. Feed some Engie some cookies and force feed them Carolina Reavers. Uh, thank you for this really fun ship RPG nerdos. I was, you know, sometimes playing viewerships over and over when they get like too stressful or kind of weak. And I'm just stressed out on my uh, day to recover from FTL Salt. I get frustrated by viewerships, but then ships like this are like, uh, they're just they're just such a good time. They remind me of why I enjoy viewership day so much. This is just amazing. All right, double bombs. Um, that's fine. Let's get them to come into the weapons room. Then we lock them in. Then we set them on fire. Uh, that wasn't super accurate, sadly, though. Alright. Good crew kill. You glad it's this much fun? Oh, this is super cool. I mean, part of the reason I'm enjoying it is just... Because of these interactions I keep talking about, but like, I know how much work and time you spend on this. And it really shows. Like, all. There's probably so much stuff that could break if it wasn't done correctly here as well, I'm guessing. So, just the fact that everything is working too is super cool to me. Alright, so this is 55. I can still afford a pre igniter. Let's get the mint fully upgraded. Um, who knows, maybe we'll actually get all the weapons upgraded with how much bonus rewards we're getting. Let's look at, oh, oh, there's like these little, oh, you added actual visual mint leaves to it. Those are the mint leaves on the side of the arrow. Let's see what it says about it. Peppermint launcher, mark three. An extra peppermint leaf added to the tip strengthens the effect. The cold is such that the room is locked down and pizza's special effect is delayed to maximize effectiveness. So it waits a little bit longer before the maybe lockdown or slowdown happens, maybe? Okay, I did read it, I think. I think I read, read it. Um, let's try not the Carolina Reaper sauce to see what, see what exactly what happens here. Get some people in. Mint. Okay, it 
Looked like an instant lockdown. Did it do that before? Maybe it did. Everybody's frozen in time. Shenanigans going on in there. That's what I'm seeing. Shenanigans. It feels like they're so confused they don't their crew doesn't even know what to do. Alright. Wow, they were just they were frozen forever, basically. I technically already did that in the form of the rebel officers. Berserk boarding ship. Oh yeah, I think I think we did have the berserker boarding ship at some point. That RPG's already done. So yeah, the bow is like locked down forever, it seems. Is my uh gist of it what I'm from what I'm seeing. Uh, the arrow does lockdown now, and pizza gains a very delayed lockdown of its own. Okay, so it's lockdown into delayed lockdown, so it's basically forever locked down. Gotcha. I think I might have to do some backtracking to get all the stores potentially here, depending on where they are. Yeah, RPG did have one ship like that with a mechanic and two berserkers. Okay, I'm looking for pre-igniter. Pre-igniter yet. Okay. Okay, enter. Could get clone bay. Can say which doesn't do giant alien spiders, but so does uh Mantis and RPG Neuros mod lets me do that. Okay, you know what I'm gonna actually do? I'm gonna do a heal bay upgrade because there's uh there's a heal bay blue option for some event that uh, Clone Bay doesn't even protect you from it in case we get that. Okay. Okay, so now I okay, so now I can get the awesome combo of locking them in the room and still getting the exploding sauce. This is amazing. This really is cool. Okay, um, pizza time. This is the. Uh, Toby Maguire pizza time build. We're delivering our pizza, pizza time, and then explosions. Can you have Baker? No, no. I I purposely renamed him Baker Rand. Why would you request that? That's rude. Oh, I see that you've renamed that person already. Can I rename him? No, no, you can't. You can have the Mantis or the Rock. He's literally Baker Rand that you're asking to. He's Baker Rand. No. <laughs> you can be the rock or the mantis if you want, though. All right. Um, do you want to get the cookie launcher upgraded or online first? Um, I think I want to get it online first. We'll do that. I can use it if needed. It's all right. It's all right. I just, I'm unsure why you even thought Baker would be a name that wasn't already renamed. But I can, I can make the Mantis the Rock, just let me know. Or you can wait till we get another human that I'm going to instantly vent, probably. Alright, boarding drone in my heel bay. Kinda fine, I guess. No repairing of heel bays allowed, NG. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, the absolute chaos this just this causes is amazing. Turbojet, are you not listening? I've told you there's a rock and a mantis available. Yes, there is a rock and a mantis available. All right, hail them. Uh, sure, I'll take drone parser missiles. It's fine. Maybe somebody needs to tell Turbojet that they're available because I feel like he's not listening to me, even though he's asking me questions. So I'm confused. All right. All right, you want to be the rock? Okay, sure thing. Uh, let's see here. What did you say? You want Turbo J? All right. There you go. Turbo J. For Bodge. Uh, Rebel Stronghold, let's go. Although there was an NG option looking for a pre igniter, I should have gone there probably. No, 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 you're fine. You can, you, you, you got it. Nobody's asked for them yet. All right, so. Let's make use of our advanced FTL navigation. We're looking for non ship fight under construction flagship look around shenanigans. I an intruder into my shield. That's annoying as hell. Alright. Get that offline. I don't want that to be even usable right here. If you know what I'm even. What am I gonna do? The hack is your own control. Oh wow, he missed with me not even doing it correctly. Okay, my control in there. Pizza. Mint to lock it down. And explosions. Okay. Uh, it's all right, Turbojet. It's all right. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I will go into the Nebula for Nebula ship fights here. What's what's the upgrade that I need to go here? What do I need to do? I need power, level three hacking, the cookie launcher upgrade. Let's go with two power first. I assume the cookie launcher upgrade is 50 something. Oh, it's only 35. Okay, this is cheap still. But let's, let's again, I want to make sure I have enough to get a pre igniter if we find a store. Okay, double missiles, okay. Alright, let's make sure the weapons are just forever down. Forever a clone. Nice. So apparently a cookie exploding does more damage than a whatever level heal bay that wasn't working can heal. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if that'll pull anybody in here. Uh, is there a guy in here? Where's their last crew? I could move Cookie around to scout. Or the pizza. There he is. Oh, I saw another guy poke his head in. Alright. Very nice. Alright, let's get Turbo Jet healed here. Okay. Alright. 
right, 144 scrap. Um, get level two piling for the potential manly search here. I'm not sure if manly search can be in what you would call it. Um, rebel sectors or not. Probably gonna get a lot of dodges. You know what? Let's actually hack it so we can't dodge. Make the fight safe. And cloaking is not all the way down. Is it now? Maybe. Okay. Go ahead and do this. This. Uh, I should have shot the ion first. I forgot the cookie doesn't pierce all shields like uh, the other weapons do. I wonder if uh, the fully upgraded cookie, how much bonus damage it does. I would guess it maybe does two whole or system damage or something like that. Get blasted. Alright, so how much for the last cookie upgrade? Only 35, huh? Alright, we have something to sell. We could definitely still afford whatchamacallit. Wait, are there more upgrades? Oh, there's a level. F Wait, did I? I thought I already did that upgrade. Level two. More cookies, improved accuracy, two power, four shot, uh, three shots with a radius. Uh, still pierces one shield. Side effect: increased incompatibility with pizza. Incompatibility with pizza can be upgraded. Okay. Wow, we can get a high level cookie here. Auto scouts seem to be the only thing close to countering this ship. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping that would be a under construction flagship. All right, I'm purposely going to the non ship fights here. Trying to find. Uh, look around. Using up all my fuel, too. Oh, great. Running away. Auto scout. Shenanigans. Hacking piloting here. We've got a lot of dodges this run. I feel like it's rare. Well, I guess we didn't get cloak until later. I was say, I feel like it's rare to have full dodge this early with cloaking, but... <laughs> that stupid sound. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. Huh. Somehow, his missile's gonna fire at us, isn't it? Got him, nice. Uh, the sounds of this ship are so goofy. Whoa! Okay, well... That's loud. Must be a fire or something going on. I assume y'all can hear that. Okay, um... Uh, this sells for like 35. Yeah, 35 is 120 to get along. Um... Three igniter, so if I spend another 35, no, it's 55 on this. Should should still be enough. Before pre igniter for C1. All right, what does this cookie launcher do? Even more cookies with further improved accuracy, combining with pizza is straight up asking for severe consequences. Four shots, 11 second charge time. So I guess that means it does like maybe two or three or four hole damage or something. 
The hot sauce that's causing the sirens, yes. Alright. Free stuff. Love it. Alright. Non ship fights looking for a look around. Look for look around. Okay. Come on, looking around. We should be guaranteed to find look around because I think we've seen all the empty jumps so far. God fucking damn it, game. Lock it down. Fuck fuck. Blow him up. <laughs> That's so good. All right, we got a human. There we go. There, I can swap you from rock to human if you really want to be a useless human, Turbojet. Remember chat and Rand, you are awesome and loved and should take care of yourself. Thanks, Krima. Thank you. I had, um, you know, I'd been talking about having digestion issues, so yesterday, for me, I did something very um, out of the ordinary and outside my comfort zone. And I went to Smoothie King and got a gut health smoothie with cherry and blueberry and probiotic stuff or whatever. Now, I say out of the ordinary for me because, I, as you all know, I don't like to eat or drink anything that I don't think tastes good. And honestly, the smoothie didn't taste very good to me, but it didn't taste bad. So I drank almost the whole 32 ounces of it. And so hopefully that will help with some of my, you know, gut health digestion issues. I think it did. I think it did. It doesn't help that... Oh, good. We gotta look around. That I, I... That currently what I'm eating for dinner for the last two nights and will be for the next two nights is Little Caesars pizzas and cheese sticks. Uh, I don't know if you all have seen on Twitch, but it's like non-stop Little Caesars ads and it's just like I keep seeing those delicious cheese sticks. I had to get them. So... I have something that's terrible for my stomach and then something that will hopefully help my stomach. So hopefully the two will come together and I'll have normal stomach issues. Normal non-stomach issues, I guess. Or as uh, Shogi calls it, I got Ebola pizza. As Shogi calls it. Anytime I say I got little Caesars. Wow, that was a lot of doges. All right, let's do this. Let's see what kind of damage this does with the pizza. One, two, three, four. Four shots, and then Cookie explodes for three damage. Nice. Easy, easy uh, look around crew kill there. Village ship for supplies. A free black two. Two ship delay. Very nice. Do I love cookies with raisins? I do not. I do not. I like cookies with chocolate. Chocolate chips, specifically. 32 ounces? That's a calorie bomb. Yeah, it was a 32 ounce. Um, it basically was my lunch yesterday. The cherries and blueberries and then whatever else they put in there gut health probiotic smoothie from smoothie king uh, it was a little much for me i i didn't quite finish it i probably left a little bit down at the bottom but next time i do that which i probably will do in the future i'll probably get they have like a smaller 20 ounce version it's probably what i'll do and uh maybe see if i can get it without blueberries and just cherries because the flavor i'm not sure if like, I just don't like the flavor of most fruits. Like, if I get an apple thing, I don't like the flavor. If I get a uh, blueberries or mangoes, I just I don't like the flavor of fruits. But cherry and lime are the two things that I do like the flavor of. So if I can get it with just cherry, I wonder if it'll be even less of a having to force myself to 
drink the whole thing down. You just joined? Why the hell is there a bow? This is the greatest ship ever. Well, it's one of the most fun ships I've had on a viewership day in a while. Uh, we are a ship with pizza. We launch pizza bombs and we throw mint, hot sauce, or cookie toppings to get different combinations of effects on our pizza bombs. It's pretty amazing. And the bow is a mint bow and arrow. Okay, this guy's running. So, triple missile weapons means we hack weapons while venting the human. Uh, do this. This should pull the pilot. Walk it down. Set the uh, clone bay on fire there. Well, you're not supposed to be able to get back into your piloting, sir. Walk down the room where he burns. Beautiful. No running away allowed. Oh, uh, you're in for a real treat. <laughs> yes, yes you are. Yeah, yeah, basically the thing that was probably in the um, probiotic gut health smoothie was probably like yogurt with whatever the good the good bacteria is for your gut. And I'm just wondering if it was that yogurt that gave it kind of a tangy flavor or if you have cherries that are actually fresh if they have more of a tangy flavor than the sweet cherry flavor I'm used to. I don't know. But the smoothie was not bad. So, it was good for me to eat something that will hopefully make me hopefully have some better gut health if I can mix in a a smoothie every once in a while. Lock him in. Blow him up. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so amazing. I can't wait to do that to the shield room on the boss fight. Thank you for the six months, Frozer GM. Just make sure you keep your human pizza delivery boy. That's right. Human pizza delivery boy. Which one is the delivery boy? <laughs> can I go one, two, three? I can. Perfectly calculated. I can even get the quest if I want to. I forget what it is. I think it's a drone part delivery, maybe? Greek yogurt is pretty tangy. You're sure that was plenty of fiber, though? Yeah. Well, somebody on um, uh, YouTube messages said something about some kind of seeds. Chai seeds or something that's supposed to be good for fiber. I'm going to have to look in to see if I can even up the fiber level by um, getting a smoothie and adding in chai seeds. Chia. Chia seeds. Is that what it is? wonder where I can get those. Can I just get those at, like, any store, maybe? Because maybe I can make a super fiber shake by uh, getting what I got before and then adding some chia seeds to it. They have lots of fiber. Are they flavorless? Because... You know, I'm picky. I'll look up where I can find some chia seeds. In any market, usually in the seeds nuts aisle, they have pretty nice taste. They have a huge bag of them. They're great in smoothies on salads. It's insoluble fiber, though, so it acts like a sponge to clean your colon. <laughs> I could, My colon could probably use that for what I put inside of it. All right, enter. We're looking for pre-igniter. Stealth weapons is interesting. Um, okay, if we don't get 
Free igniter. Level 3 stealth with stealth weapons, I wouldn't mind either. So we'll grab that for now. I know, colon blow, 5,000! That's, I basically need that old SNL skit of, it's like eating 5,000 bowls of total, or whatever it is. Okay. Colon blow. <laughs> How did you dodge everything? <laughs> Dodges. What the f? All right, Rand cursing in stereo. What could be better? <laughs> I did get your reference. I actually thought about that when I was like getting that, thinking about uh, getting that smoothie. Is like. Thinking of that colon blow episode of SNL from back in the, what was that, 80s or something? Nothing can rival stereo curses. Maybe stereo farts, yes. Alright, do we go to the quest? I mean, we can absolutely dive. So let's go ahead and get level 3 cloaking. Backup battery upgrade. And let's see what the quest is. See if our delivery... Quest gets us anything good. Alright. Remain silent. Power up your weapons. You make a good point. You traveled all the way. Here, I'll even tip you. That's right. Give me that scrap of doodly doodly doodlyage. Okay. Maybe the early 90s. I remember Phil Hartman in that colon blow episode, and I'm pretty sure wh what he's wearing looked either late eyed. Late 80s or early 90s, I think. That would be my guess. From off the top of my head. That's the wrong button. When you were dieting, you made a horrible concoction of psyllium husk mixed with just enough water to gel poured into a green bell pepper. I don't know what that is, but it sounds terrible. <laughs> That sounds like when my ex used to eat kale shakes. She would cook kale and make either shakes or something out of it. And it's like the most horrible smell. It's like, you're going to put that inside of you? That doesn't sound like something I want to ingest. Uh, well, looks like I got to go. Thankfully, I didn't have to eat it or drink whatever she made. Or is it is it you or is it just you or does peace explosion set even more fires? I'm not sure. You're a month away from four year followage. Damn time flies fast. Nice, nice. That's what she said. Yes. Yes, giggity, giggity, well done. But kale shakes definitely not even once for me. I like when you look when I was looking at the Smoothie King, um, like menu some of the healthy things for your health and I'm like kale and spinach and I'm like mm, I'm sure those things are really good for you but just reading the words makes me want to gag because of the taste I just blech, blech. Um, I have these things in the wrong order here let's do it this way Uh, level 202, because we are in a slug sector. Level 2 heal bay protect us from wearing radiation. Celium husk is another insoluble fiber, probably the cheapest one. Kale. You remember when restaurants used kale to hide all the crushed ice on salad bars, like the Wendy's Super Salad Bar. Nice. I can't mind control that guy. Okay, I'll let you out, though. Let you in, because I can mind control that guy. Doge? No, 
No, you need to be a good doge. Oh, you need to stop being a bad doge. Oh, it would help if I actually pressed my cloak button. It's like, why didn't I cloak that? Oh, because I didn't actually press C. That would be the that would be the reason. That would be the reason. Let's cloak it this time. We'll do it this doge? time. Now you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. <laughs> Uh, all right, pass your hand. All right. All right, don't be a bad doge. Uh, that guy got out. It's done. Or just kill. That's the best one right there. That's the best. That's the best uh, missile mod right there, the doge one. You haven't heard the come the F on? Yeah, it's been around for a bit. Used to sneak spinach into your kid's applesauce, blended it all together, of course. Did they say, why does this taste funny? Or did they say, or did they not even notice? I'll tell you, me as a kid, I would have noticed it prob maybe, probably. Because if there's even a, well, I probably wouldn't even eat eaten the applesauce when I was a kid. That's how picky of an eater I was. With how I feel about apples now, I probably wouldn't have, but my mom probably couldn't have gotten me to eat applesauce as a kid. I honestly wonder what my mom got me to eat when I was little, because I don't like any of the stuff that they make baby food out of. You know, crushed peas, applesauce. Um, what else do they do? I don't even know, but I like none of it. You actually enjoy a little spinach and fruit smoothies? Yeah. You are probably a much healthier eater than I am. I wish I did enjoy those things. Maybe I'll try it eventually, but... Even the thing that I ate that was, like... Including a fruit that I enjoy... In cherries, I could... I, like, had to hold my breath as I... After too long of eating it, because, um... The flavor was starting to get to me, the tartness and stuff to it. Man, these fucking dodges. <laughs> Did you record yourself going, and that's how you got that sound? Because <laughs> that sound just sounds like somebody going right into a microphone. It's great. Oh, uh, you didn't even know, or your kids didn't notice the. Spinach just needs the iron for how much milk he drinks. Drinks. You do make your own applesauce, though, so maybe that's a difference. You got that sound from the internet somewhere. Okay. <laughs> There's probably many <laughs> sounds you can find on the internet. All right. Yeah, the only thing I'm looking for is pre-igniter. Gonna hack the shields to keep them from being able to get into the heal bay here. Lock him in. <laughs> it's, so, it's just so abrupt. That's why it cracks me up so much. It's so abrupt. Just out of nowhere. Come into the room. There we go. Lock him in. Burn him down. I think there must be somebody in here trying to get through there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, the sauce bottle gets squeezed while... Oh, I didn't... I need to look at the animation of that. I didn't notice an animation earlier, so I missed that. I need to check that. Uh, premium stalwarts co shields level eight. Ascend your shields to fifth barrier. This might be the first time I've had the option to do this outside of sector eight one. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. That gives us full level five shields, doesn't it? Nice. All right. We finally did it for once. We finally did the as intended upgrade of one of our max level systems based on a racial store unlocking it. That's awesome. 
Um. Hmm. Yeah, we can now elitize weapons or cloaking or something else. That's awesome. Your kids are weird. They like spinach cream sauce with pasta. They call it the green sauce. Yeah, my brother, um, who does a lot of cooking... has set, a, uh, set up his kids for success because he cooks all sorts of stuff that they, that like other kids probably wouldn't enjoy because he just makes it, he cooks it well and has trained them to enjoy things like, a, you know, grilled asparagus and, well, he probably doesn't do anything to make them like apple slices. They just like those. But um, other stuff that I would have never eaten and enjoyed as a eaten and enjoyed as a kid. Um, I'm going to hack the heal day here. So I can see them go in there and then finish them off in there. Okay. Walk it down. Blow them up. Oh, the dodges, though. You should have zero goddamn dodge with this ship. Uh, you make your, I guess it's your kid, a weight gainer smoothie, full fat Greek yogurt, whole milk, peanut butter, and honey. Interesting. What do you mean by weight gainer? Like somebody who's trying to, like, bulk up, or... Assume that's what a weight gainer smoothie would be, trying to bulk up or something. What's up, Spiritual Demon? First stream you caught? How's it going? It's going great. Having a super fun time with an awesome ship from RPG Nerdos on this viewership day. How are you doing? Welcome to the live stream. Uh, what I was thinking of doing to, to make a, um, a smoothie that I like even more would be Smoothie King has like some sort of like treat yourself chocolate shake. But you can add stuff to it. So I was almost wondering, like, like a cocoa powder protein shake, but adding their probiotic gut health thing to it. I wonder if that would taste funky or if I would like that or not. Just take out all the good stuff, the fruits, and just put in the probiotic stuff. I don't know. Lots of protein is just good for kids. Okay. Yeah, he's level. He's... he's Two years old and he's bulking up. <laughs> it's funny. It'll be like that one, uh, like I remember some article I saw at some point of like some seven year old who looks like a bodybuilder somehow because he had like some mutation or something that made him be very muscly for his age. Oh, come on, man. Whoa, he's dancing over there. There's some weird dancing going on. Uh, let's kill the clone bay. Kill the clone bay with mint sauce. Blow him up. Oh, I keep forgetting to look at the squeeze. I keep forgetting to look at it. Do I get the fire before the squeeze? Squeeze so I can look at it. Yeah, okay, there's a little bit of a squeeze there, okay. <laughs> nice. I do see it. It's, it's subtle. It's a subtle squeeze. That yeah, should be the crew kill there, I think. Um... Glad to hear you're doing well. You just got done cooking, came over from YouTube, and happened to watch the videos with you laughing at the funny voice lines when dodging shots. It's nice to enjoy those little moments. Uh, RPG is the one who has helped get the enjoyment back in FTL, even when things happen that are not great. And in this one, we have a sauce bottle that goes... <clears throat> that sounds like farts that's been laugh making me laugh every time this runs, so... RPG Nerdos adding the fun to FUFTL. You're six foot seven, so your kid has a bunch of genetic potential to grow into. No kidding. 
All right, I see the goods. Continue. Understood. Forget this. Fight. There we go. Borders on board. Where are they? In here somewhere, I guess. Probably upgrade my doors. We're getting boarded a lot, it seems. Let's get you over there to help. Get a cookie into the heel bay so I can watch for them dealing with that. Okay, good. Lock it down, start the fires. Probably some roasted slug going on there. Anybody want some escargot? Lol. Okay, let's get our dudes healed. Let's get doors upgraded. Mic control's our last value point. Doors and mic control. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop 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 I've seen one store in the nebula. Again, pre-igniter is the last thing we're really looking for. That can give us any more extra power, potentially. I fully upgraded all my weapons, right? Let me check. Yes, we did. Okay. Sadly, no more upgrades for these OP crazy weapons. There should be one guaranteed other store in the nebula over here somewhere. I think we've only seen one store. Mind control cloaking and a missile, huh? These fucking dodges! <laughs> uh, I heard the red sound going for that one. Um... Uh... Cloaking down if we can. A little bit of that uh, in the background clone bay sound or something. Okay. Lock them in. Burn them down. Slugs back on the menu, boys. That sound. Uh, uh, what that sound or the one in the background of the these effing dodges as the sound of somebody dying in a clone bay happens. I think my store has to be here now. A clone bay re 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 yeah, that's the worst sound. Alright, enter. Explosive replicator, field recharge booster. Mm. Mm, no. Wow, even with this explosive replicator the entire time. Still 12 missiles. I think I must have been giving away missiles, so. Yeah, I think I was giving away missiles. One, two, three, four, five. What's my favorite voice line? Yours? You're being a bad doge? Yes, it's definitely the bad doge one. It's also one of the newer ones, so new things are fun and shiny, but that's probably going to be stay my favorite. All right, so it's the other survivor. Get into the med bay. Oh, an NG. Do we have extra crew slots? No, that was just actually our last crew slot available. Okay, cool. Let's go here. Max crew, beautiful. Oh, a bonus store. That makes you think of aliens, which I have never seen what, the re-re-re clone bay sound, or that you're being a bad doge? <laughs> what, the pre-igniter, baby, we got it! Okay, all right, what do we lose for the pre-igniter? Um, man, this is really good for Sector 8, Superior Navigation System, but I just, I gotta go, I gotta go all the combat things. I did, wow, last door, Sector 7. 
as intended, best build for this sh for this ship by the drone parts there. We actually got the pre-igniter. That is so awesome. All right, free defense drone for reasons. Uh, I'm about to get a free repair, so we don't need that. I'm sad Shogi's not here. I feel like he would have he would have enjoyed an FTL ship that's all about putting different toppings on your pizza. That would actually be a ship in FTL. I think Shogi would appreciate. Um. So if we get to the exit beacon before the boss. We can get level four cloaking or level like extra weapon upgrades. Let's get the weapon value point. Now we'll have the option for the crazy cloaking or crazy weapon crazy weapon upgrades. So he's going one, two. Three, four, I think we have five more gems here. So I need to be there in four, I think. Okay, well, we're pre-ignited, so even though we can't set this guy on fire. Oh, I did that in the wrong order. Uh, Lesius, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. And then there's a bonus. Three damage after the explosion. Oh, one more shot. Time to pizza all over. Pizza all over the boss guy. Pizza as a verb. I'm going to pizza all over that guy. Not sure if I've ever heard that as a verb before. Special Demon, thank you for the Prime Sub. That is a new Prime Sub. Welcome to the Randoms, and I really appreciate that. You have finally ended your school day. Welcome, Sword Art. You've been watching the YouTube videos this weekend, and you're hooked, Celestius. Nice. You and Spiritual Demon have joined us today from the YouTube, I believe. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. All right, so if we get to the base, we can get either weapon upgrade, which I already have a value point, so I'll probably do the cloaking upgrade. And that's the only one we, yeah. The Elite is cloaking. Power for days. And it's not even worth getting level whatever mind control because um, they're gonna be stunned in the room that we are deleting them in. So let's go a little bit of Reddit engines then, why not? I'm going to grape you right in the mouth. <laughs> All right, so how do we want to do this? Uh, we want to get everybody into the shield room and explode them. That's what we want to do. We want to hack the shields. I don't even think I have to hack the shields. I think I actually hacked the heal bay. But anybody that gets out of the shield room, we can finish off. Because we can lock them in with the minty lock them in with the mint arrow things I never thought I'd say in FTL well there'll be a second run today there'll be a second and a third run today as long as nothing crazy happens shield hack I have level 5 shields I think I'm okay with that hack I will level two my control here. Bring all the dudes in there. Get the pizza in there. I should bring another dude. Lock him in. Get the fire. Get the cookie down. Oh, a cookie blocked us from damage. Well done. How did you dodge Cookies everything? are the best, as we all know. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Um, 
Can I do that before cloaking happens again? Okay, I think one hit to start the explosions on the cookie. I'm not sure. I know, the shield room is the worst room ever. Oh, we actually do take all damage because of the shield hack, damn. Let's get that down. Okay, let's get them all in this room. Okay. Um, damn, I think I'm about to crew kill their entire ship, which means they're going to have an auto... There'll be an auto assault ship for phase three. I guess I'm okay with that. I can kill it before the last guy. Okay, ooh, don't die. Okay, all right. That guy stays in piloting, and we finish him off before he gets crew killed. That should avoid... Damn it, he killed himself. If I fired the cookie shot, maybe a little bit quicker. The stupid human killed himself. He knew about self-venting, I guess. You assume three runs means hands are okay? Yeah, my hands are... Well, my hands will probably be tired by the end of the day. The main reason is because I don't have to go anywhere like I've had to um, the last couple streams. I've had... Two streams ago, I did two runs, and I was fighting some fatigue. Uh, last stream, I actually had a, a gig or... Oh, uh, no, it was my doctor's appointment on a Monday, I think. 32 lets us get nothing yet, sadly, and I... Got rid of my thing that would let me jump as far as possible to go get that stronghold, sadly. Don't kill yourself, kill your friends. That's right. Is auto defense worse than man defense? Well, yes. When you're fighting the boss, phase three, um, they dodge more if they don't. It's, it's ideal to leave one crew alive for phase three unless you're boarding. Because if they have one crew alive, they have less dodges than if they have no crew alive. Somebody's alive! Okay, I don't know what happened, but I'm grateful. Uh, it's better to have one crew alive than no crew alive, because crew alive because they dodge more when they're an auto ship. Auto assault ship or whatever. I have a feeling if I shoot their shields a lot, I'm going to crew kill this guy, and I don't want to crew kill him, actually. So what I'm going to do is eye on this. Hack it. Um, pizza bomb this and cookie it. That'll do, that, so. That'll do some extra hull damage with the cookie. We want to just kill the ship as quickly as possible. We don't care about crew killing here. Uh, we can maybe get this down. you don't die <laughs> every time. <laughs> Beautiful. B-A-U-T full. Only damage was from phase one when the shield hack plus beam countered our five shields somehow. The animation might not have finished. For that crew not dying? I'm not exactly sure how, how there was still one human alive there. I feel like that shouldn't have happened, but I'll take it. Uh, um, I need to get back into this game. Didn't really get far when you first got it, but watching my videos has been making you itch for it. I will say, a lot of people when they start watching FTL get the enjoyment of playing it by watching it and don't have to have the pain of actually playing it themselves, so you're not the only one. Uh, who has probably watched more than played more. Alright, level 5 cloaking. The problem is I don't have... Doge? <laughs> now you need to be a good doge. I don't have something. You need something. to stop being a bad doge. I don't want to lock him in, but I do want to... Keep the fire from not spreading. I want it to spread, basically. Okay, there we go. 
Now we do a pizza thing in here. Do the cookie thing in here. Bonus explosions. We'll let him through. There we go. There should be no more damage here. Uh... Okay. I will finish him for the final. Final crew kill. Oh, he ran away. Okay, that'll get him. Whew, look at those dodges with five shields. Beautiful. Finish him with a cookie pizza. Is there a more fitting way to finish him? GG cookie pizza time, everybody. The Baker Cruiser, an amazing ship from RPG Nerdos. Super unique. Super cool me mechanics. Comboing weapons. Wow, what a fun ship. What a fun ship. That ship is called the Cooker Ship on the box.com for anybody who would like to play it themselves. I might need to uh, make sure we have an RPG Nerdos version of Hyperspace on the box.com. But that was super fun RPG. Well done on ch that ship. Check the score. Over 7,000. Yeah, we did a little bit of farming on that. Wow. Number one top score. I wonder if that'll stay. I feel like sometimes when I swap back and forth between hyperspace, these these scores don't save, but 54 ships defeated, 112 beacons explored, 2,472 scrap. What a fun run. Not to pizza time, GG, that's right. Well, awesome job, RPG Nerdos. I know it was a lot of work, but I hope the payoff was there because I had a blast with that ship. My friends, we're definitely going to get at least one more, probably two more ships in, so I'm going to send it to the restroom. Mr. Keese and, um, um, Zach Dog, let me know which of your ships I should play next, because I think I played a Star Trek ship last, last week, but I can't remember. But y'all enjoy chair time or ad time. When we come back, we'll play another awesome ship from you. Awesome people. See you in a bit, my friends.